What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a quick preparation video in regards to Black Knight's upcoming event. So if you guys haven't already, I'll link it in the description below, but we know what his events gonna be entailing in terms of the makeup, which is consisting of going through blitz battles, um, earning milestone points through the sword satellite mode that's expected to be in game, and as well, earning incursion campaign energy and using that um, as you progress uh, through the week milestone so having said that today's video guys we're going to be focused more so on kind of the blitzing concept how to maximize your blitz teams but as well how you can ensure that you're getting consistent wins i'll walk you through what happens with my methodology how i've been building my teams and as well how i'm ensuring um, those victories so keep in mind too this is a milestone that's based on victories right so you're not going to be getting you know points obviously if you just participate you need to make you make sure that your team or your teams that you've built are actually consistently getting victories and that way they're generating points um, we're assuming this is going to be similar to what we saw with void knight where each win is going to grant you some shard fragments or so forth and that ideally is going to be giving us that opportunity to get more black knight shards so first and foremost guys even before i even uh, go through my strategy in terms of the team dynamic here first make sure that you guys are saving your teams right so for example if there's a team that you like um, for example the one you see on screen here make sure that you're going through selecting five members and hitting that little save button right here because this is going to give you and mine's already maxed out because it's already saved as well too but um this is going to save you time because then you can actually go through here use the arrows and actually be able to quickly rotate through it right so that's a really important detail here uh, you shouldn't be missing just because it's going to save you time right now you can start preparing right now even before the event and in doing so um it's good to review from time to time but once you slot these kind of teams and synergies in uh, it's going to give you an opportunity to already save time and not have to put them into them later um strategy number two that i like to explore as well as equip for myself is making sure that you're getting you know if you're not having a full built up team utilized as that synergy here you're going to be using a strong character that brings up and wins for you as opposed to the other four so on screen here as you can see ultron's kind of my lead example here he's my champion getting the victory and then we're surrounding him with some kree characters and ultimus um who's received no love for me so this is going to almost guarantee and ensure a victory here um here let me just demonstrate when you're going through and doing these matchups well i mean it's up to you if you want to you know click through and hit if you want to select a new opponent but personally for myself um when you're just trying to get through your blitz rotations you, you know you know uh, some days you may not care and you just want to go through and hit the battle so for example battle sim this is almost a likely ensure victory because um essentially in this lineup it was a, against ultron versus anti-venom right so it is like an offensive damage dealer versus a a, a healing character you're probably going to get the win uh, to be honest most of my blitz teams and i'll make sure i um actually what i'm going to do is i'll post my my squad description blitz link details below so that way if you guys want to copy my team you can but i have a very unconventional team because i'm all over the place with my my, my teams and rosters because i've built up certain characters for game mode so many of my teams aren't really fully built i have some straggler characters here and there for example even with this one here i really like what winter soldier can do by himself so then for example i'll use him as kind of my my main lead here and use him as the sim example so you can see um, even at multiplier or 4x here uh, he still can get the win and that's kind of how i structured it certain characters i have built up with synergies you know i have utilized them in terms of the synergy here in terms of getting the win and that's what you want to be building so if i cycle through you know um you have a strong kind of carry like dormammu you don't really need to surround him with much he can pretty much solo but keep in mind too he's not that um, you know, he has a lot of sustain and so forth, but he's kind of a one and done, right? You can only do a couple turns. So you want to be aiming for some of these teams that maybe don't have that much synergy. Like it's always about those one-on-one -on -one matchups here, right? Quicksilver is another good example. You don't want to be putting him against the Eternals, but in this mixture here of Thanos and Deadpool, by all means, go ahead. This is going to be a, a surely victory here. So um, it's just kind of going through the matches, but some days you may not have time. You just want to go through and just quickly just rip through the rotations. And for that reason, another big tip that I like to do is once you set up your teams here, um, make sure you're sorting all of the different power ranges. So that way, um, you know, you are getting a variety and you're going from the start of your lowest character teams um, all the way and working down, right? As you can see, I start off at the lowest power in 174K. And as we slowly go down, um, we're getting more and more into those team synergies. And I've, I tried to fine tune this as much as I can. So that way uh, it's consisting of if, if I have, you know, good 
decent teams that are built up and they don't really thrive anywhere else and there's not really champions to bring them up then i'll slot them in together like black order they're big they're kind of useless by themselves right so i just put them together sometimes they win sometimes they lose but that's kind of the approach i've been taking in terms of making sure that i get more consistent victories um and then making sure that all this is set up as you can see all 55 of my slots are ready to go as we're going down lower and lower um you can see that the power has been increasing but again i just try to make um manage and, and best put teams and synergies and characters that can actually win the battle as opposed to the full team synergy because you should only really be using the full team synergy if you feel like they're not going to be getting wins um outside of their individual team and that's kind of how I built it, right? So, I mean, again, um, you're gonna save in a, a huge amount of time if you already saved the team, um, if you already built them up and you're sorting them through and then going through and making sure that you're, you know, looking at those matchups. Or like I said, for example, um, let's do a Black Knight example, actually. So we're taking a look here, we're comparing him against Loki, right? You, so you, it's a one-on-one -on -one. right now. It's Black Knight versus Loki or Black Knight versus um, Yelena or Black Knight versus wave one and thor so i think yelena is probably a really great matchup here so i'm going to go ahead and do this one but that's what i mean it's just kind of identifying those matchups one-on-one -on -one, especially if you're using those champions and you're just going to be getting more consistent victories as a result of that giving us that opportunity here to get more of these fragments and orbs and helping us with our blitz team but again guys um that's just my opinion of what works for me typically with my 55 uh, squad team save there i usually have a 80 85 win percent uh, win percent rate and again um some days you maybe have the opportunity where you can go through and look at the matchups and see which ones you want to um d dabble in other times you may not have you may not have time you might just want to you know for example let me demonstrate for you you might just want to quickly rip through it you don't really care about the matchups and you're just throwing your teams out you're just trying to get through your blitz rotation and that's okay that's okay that happens but it's all completely up to you in terms of how you want to um you know maximize your time for me personally i'm gonna probably do that i just rip through my rotations because again i have that 80 85 win rate it's not perfect but it's the best of what i can do with my roster because i don't want to build up every single character of every team just so that that way they can get consistent blitz wins and we know um, that this event can be tied back to multiple components anyway. So we'll get, probably get more details in the blog post today. I'm definitely planning to break that down for you guys and make sure that, that there's clarity and seeing how free to play friendly it is. But um, this is a character that's already kind of reshaped what's happening in Arena. You can use Black Knight on um, defense basically everywhere in the game. So this is a character you do not want to miss. Hopefully this helps you guys. Hopefully these Blitz tips are going to get you guys some more consistent wins. But the good news is we can start preparing right now and start getting those save squads in so that way we're in a better shape for the event. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully this shed some light. Thank you for your time as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.